it's probably just the way that you do something. And one of those most prominent examples, I would say, of a, of a booming industry in terms of business development is definitely cold email. It's been, um, and I've dabbled myself in it a lot. And it's just not knowing your audience when you reach out via cold email or being too aggressive or just not, just not having good, having good cop. You're doing your good enough research to know what it is. So I think it's oftentimes those small little mistakes that cost people a lot, like missing somebody's name or uh, just not paying extra attention to those small little details. And a lot of people are very ego driven, and you know, if you miss their name, you know, they they get angry. And myself, I've you know. I've finally come to peace with it that people are going to spell my name with a C instead of a K, and I'm totally good with that. But um, I know some people aren't. I like that. I like that. It's a very human response. And um, yeah, from experience, I, I know quite a lot of people are involved in the email game as well. And I do think there's a misconception in startup businesses, particularly around SaaS, that, that anybody can be good at email sales. It's not true. I think there's there's a niche of people who are very naturally good at it and don't need that experience. But for everybody else, there's a whole process that goes on that you just aren't aware of from technical domain setup to copywriting to lead list building. And you can try and piece all those together, but it's really, really hard to do unless you've done it successfully before. That on its head then, um, what is one thing that you wish more businesses would start doing, Marco? What do you... What do you see them missing out on that they could be getting some really easy wins with? 